delayed touchscreen response often considered as screen lag may transpire if your phone has been used for an extended period. The more apps running in the background, the more memory is used, and that could result in a sloppy phone performance. Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you what to do if your iPhone XS has a delayed touchscreen response. First solution, close apps running in the background and force restart your iPhone. It is possible that this problem is caused by the apps that are running in the background. To rule this possibility out, close those apps to free up the RAM they're using. Here's how you do that. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen and stop at the middle. This will show you the app previews. Swipe up on every preview to close apps one after another. After that, quickly press and release the volume up button, and then the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, press and hold the side or power key for 15 seconds or until the Apple logo shows on the screen. Your iPhone will continue the usual boot process, and once it has successfully rebooted, try to see if the problem is fixed. Second solution, reset all the settings of your iPhone. If the first solution didn't fix the problem, then bring your iPhone back to its factory settings or default configuration, by resetting all the settings. This is one of the most effective solutions against all kinds of software problems that occurred without apparent reason. This is how you do it. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Touch reset all settings. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap reset all settings at the bottom of the screen, and then tap reset all settings again to confirm. Your iPhone will reboot after this, once it has finished rebooting, try to see if the touch screen is now working properly. Third solution, factory reset your iPhone. If the problem continues after the previous solution, then it's time to reset your iPhone. A reset should be able to fix this problem, but before you actually do that, make sure to create a backup of your important files as they will be deleted. When ready, follow these steps to reset your iPhone. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Tap erase all contents and settings. Tap erase now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.